What's going on, man? It's your big brother, Trent. You tuned in again to another exclusive video. Don't change this video. Listen to what I got to say in this video because everything I'm about to say, it makes perfect sense, okay? Um, today is Saturday. It's a little cooler out here now in Arizona and in September, October, it starts getting cooler, you know what I mean? So I'm thankful for that. So I'm feeling pretty good today. I'm a lot cooler today. So I'm gonna be able to make this video a lot more calmer, you know, like I can just chill now cause it ain't so damn hot outside. So I'm doing good. Anyway, I just wanna say um, to all my subscribers out there, especially my women subscribers that uh, I apologize and I'm sorry if in my videos, sometimes I come off as like a womanizer and I'm one-sided when I when I talk about men and women or women and men. Um, I'm not a womanizer. You know, I'm, I don't hate women. Everybody knows I don't hate women, okay? You feel me? But I do have to speak from a man's perspective because I am a man. So I only know what a man knows, you feel me? And I'm just speaking from my experiences and things that I see in real life okay i'm not making stuff up i'm not just talking down on women just because i just don't get girls or something like that like you feel me or nothing i'm just really like speaking from what i see and what i know based off of my experiences and based off what other people tell me okay so i'm about to talk about something serious in this video um what was I going to talk about? Let me talk, let me tell you. So anyway, so what was I what I was going to talk about in this video is this, man. Um right now it's safe to say that our country is in a really bad economic state. Okay? I don't care if you thriving out there, if you thriving, if you got a good job, good for you. If you think in terms of manifestation and you see yourself as a as a prosperous person good for you i'm glad you got that mindset that's a good mindset to have i have that mindset too i walk around saying i make seven figures i make this i make you know i try to not act like what's going on in reality is real because that's how you manifest things okay and you attract things like that but at the end of the day you got to keep it real and say or speak up when things are just not the right way that it should be. Like when prices are too high in stores and stuff like that, you can't just ignore it and just say, oh, I'm gonna make enough money so I can be able to buy that when really it don't even supposed to be that price, okay? Now you are becoming delusional, okay? But when things are getting out of hand economically and you notice it, you notice that this product or you notice that apartment uh, rates and uh, rent is getting more expensive. You can't just continually sit back and just say, you get what you attract. You can't just sit back and say that. You, if, At some point, you got to step up and say, man, this, is, this needs to change. We got to do something about this. We need to stand up, okay? And so that's what I be doing in these videos. You know, I be talking about real stuff that's really going on. And safe to say, like I said, safe to say, we living in an economy right now where the economy is bad, y'all. It's not even a joke. Okay, it's not good. All right, take it from a guy that's a content creator. I see it if, even in my own personal life. So if anybody out there to do something other than me, I know you. I know you going through it. Okay, it's not cool. It's everything's expensive. Let's just face it. And with that being known to be true and factual because all you got to do is go to yahoo.com and look at finances and look at all those graphs where those numbers go up and down up and down you be, you will always see more red than you see green nowadays okay they'll lie to you sometimes and they'll say well, you know the dow jones is up the stock market is up they be completely lying they are lying they not telling the truth when you go into grocery stores you don't see nobody shopping in grocery stores no more that often you don't see people carrying loads of groceries no more. You know what I mean? You don't see people at gas stations filling up their gas tanks. You see people at gas stations checking their checking they phones to see if they got enough money to pay for gas. You feel me? And with that being said, 
this is why I apologize to the women, okay? But I really not apologizing because this is this is what y'all got to do, women. Y'all got to change some things in order for us to create uh, a balance in this economy, okay? Um, this whole inflation thing and the economy being bad and down right now, um, like it makes people not want to date. It makes men not want to approach women. It makes relationships fail. A lot of people are getting divorced right now and they're not able to be with their partner and stuff, mostly because of finances, all right? 90% of relationships fail because, not because somebody cheating, you know what I mean? Not because somebody's not interested in nobody no more. Not because that girl told that dude, I'm not interested in you no more. It all revolves around finances most of the time. People don't want to date somebody broke, okay? Men don't want to pull up to girls and approach women when they are broke. Even though they might not look broke, they might not tell you that they struggling financially, but it's just a man thing. Men are not going to walk up to women and just be like, hey, what's your number? What's going on? You look good. Because that's not, that's, that's not like something that men do. You feel me? It's not something that men do. Men, me, most, some men do, some broke men do out there approach, approach women while they're not financially stable. Some guys do that. But tell, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Most real guys don't do that because it just, it don't seem right. You feel me? And so, like I said, this economy and everything that's going on financially out here is causing relationships to not be something common no more. People are not wanting to be in relationships no more because money is tight. Money ain't right. And we all know when you dating or when you being with somebody and you're in a relationship with somebody, especially in the beginning stages, it costs money. You feel me? In the beginning stages, it costs money. It's just like if you want to get your kids signed up for some type of cheerleading squad or football squad or something like that, it costs money to get them kids signed up in the very beginning. Matter of fact, it costs money through the whole damn season. It's the same way when you dating and when you in relationships. It's just like most women, you have to court women. You have to, you have to, you know, please women. Let's keep it 100. You have to please women. You have to court women. You have to turn women on. Ladies, am I lying or am I, am I just telling the truth? Okay? And it takes money most of the time to do that. Okay? When you take women out on dates, if, if, a, if a man take you out on a date, yeah, you can go to the park. You know what I'm saying? You can... You can go to the, to the beach and walk on the beach, but most of the time a woman wants to do something fancy because that's what women like to do. Most of the time women want to go on vacations because women like to have fun. That stuff costs money. Flying you out, it costs money. Picking you up in the car, it costs money. You feel me? Taking you out for the drinks, that costs money. All this stuff costs money, ladies. Okay? And like I said, this is what men have been doing for so long, being providers, okay? Men are natural born providers. Women are nurturers. But when you think about the word providing in modern day times, it really just basically means money, okay? Basically, men are money, basically, for lack of terms. That's what it is. Men have the money. Women have the uchi, if you know what I mean. They have the uchi. They nurturers. Okay, they caretakers. But if the economy is not right, if the economy is not doing good, if the economy is not thriving, then a lot of men just don't have it like they normally used to. You feel me? It's not that they ain't shit or it's not that they some bums or it's not that they gay now and they just don't like girls no more. It's just that they don't have it economically, financially. You feel me? A lot of people out here just trying to survive. A lot of people just trying to stay in their apartments. A lot of people just trying to make their car payments. So a lot of people don't have time to get in relationships no more because it costs too much damn money. All right. It's just like having a baby. That shit costs money. OK, so the solution to it is, is this, this is why I apologize to the ladies. But the solution to it is, is ladies. If you really want to be in relationships or you want to be approached by a good man, or if you, I mean, if you, even if you don't want no man, you just want to have fun with the opposite sex or something like that. Now is the time where y'all have to step up and be 50 50. Okay. Not because you dating a broke 
low value dude. This might be a high value dude, but he just might have it. You might have a six figure dude on your hands, but he just might not have it that day because of the economy. Now, are we blaming the economy? No, we're not blaming the economy, but we just keeping it 100. We just keeping it real. You feel me? It'll be sweet for guys to have a woman. If he goes out, she just pays for the drinks. That's simple stuff. What, how much drinks cost? Uh, what, $30? If y'all getting like two a piece, it'll be sweet sometimes if you pu he pull up to the gas station because he want to get some gas and he done came and picked you up. You feel me? And you just hop out the car and you go in there and fill up his tank. It's simple stuff. It's the small things that a man wants. He don't want nothing super, super, super fancy or super sophisticated. He don't want a Versace uh, bathrobe or nothing like that. It's, su it's simple stuff. You know what I mean? It'll be nice if you pulled up to his crib or if you came to your crib, boom, you had a pack of 24 pack of Gatorade because you know he probably wants some Gatorade. It's just the simple stuff that men look at that he likes in a woman that could be 50-50, okay? Because we live in times right now where we have to create balance. If we don't create balance, then it's never gonna be no more relationships, I'm sorry. It's never gonna be no more dating. You gonna, men gonna continue to hate women and women gonna continue to hate men, okay? But now is the time where women can step up now and be value high value women and show men that they high value women not just in not just with looks not just with makeup not just with booty not just with all this superficial outer core stuff i'm talking about the inner core stuff i'm talking about providing him with some stuff sometimes you feel me i ain't asking you to pay off his credit card debt or his student loan debt it's simple stuff man that these men need but they too afraid to ask because they don't want to feel like low value men. Okay. And this is what it takes to be in a relationship. It takes 50, 50. It takes both people coming together, putting their money together, putting their minds together in order to create balance so that they can continue forward into the future with their relationship. And this is what's not happening. You feel me? Because like I said, most women is still out here running around with that 150 mindset. You know what I'm saying? In the mindset of like, what can he do for me? Gimme, gimme, gimme. I need a rich man. I need a rich man. Take me on your yacht. Oh my God, come and pick me up. You got a penthouse, you got a condo. You know what I'm saying? Most women is walking around like that and it's not affordable right now. It's just ridiculously insane. It is so freaking entitled. It's ridiculous now. It's, it's so entitled and egotistical now that it's becoming pathetic to guys because they so used to doing it for so long. It's becoming like a damn disease. That's why most men nowadays, when they see a beautiful woman, ladies, I'm going to tell you a trick. I'm going to tell you a secret. Nowadays, if you're a woman and you carry yourself righteously, you look good. You take care of yourself. You look good. Like you're going to look good today. Okay. Guess what that means to a man? Dollar, 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 money, money, money. You a high value woman. He got to be valuable too. Most of the time nowadays, he not going to approach you. He not going to come say nothing to you. He not going to try to get your number. You know why? Because you look like money. Now, are you not supposed to look like money? Of course you're supposed to carry yourself with dignity. Of course you're supposed to love yourself and have self-love and look good. But if you're going to do that in 2024, knowing we in this economy and this inflation stuff is going on, and you understand that even you barely making it, but you put all your money into your looks, he don't put all his money into his looks. He put all his money into his, his lifestyle, into his entrepreneurship, into his businesses and stuff like that because men are providers. Okay, do some simple stuff for him. Okay, do simple stuff for him. Simple stuff. Shit, go to the store and buy some potato chips and dip if you can afford it. You feel me? Like I said, and if you're going out, if you're going out with a man today and y'all going on a little date, pay for something. Pay for, pull out a card and just, even if you don't got no money, just act like you got some money. Pull out a card and say, hey, you want me to pay for it? Chances is he going to say, nah, I got it. But if you pay for it, that is even better. Okay? But I'm just saying this because men are high value. Most men are high, high value men. All right? But like I said, it's just cost to date. It costs to be in relationships. Women, high value women cost money. 
even I know that. Even I know that. But see, I date high value women sometimes. When I do date, I date high value women. If I do, when I do date. And most of these girls that I date, they know what I'm telling you because they come out, they pocket and pay for stuff. They give me stuff. And I look at it like, wow. Like, that's how guys look at it because it is so damn rare for women to do shit for men other than give them some uchi and, and, and look good and cute and sexy and, 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 be, and be eye candy for him. It is so damn rare for that shit to happen. So if you do something for men, like something value, you you give to a man something valuable, man, he gonna be like, what? Wow. Next thing you know, you're gonna be his main chick. You're gonna be his number one girl, his go-to girl. Why? Because all the other girls out here got their hand out. Like, gimme, 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 gimme. They all do the same thing. It's so common. They all do the same stuff. So if you a different woman and you want a man and you want to be in a relationship and you want guys to approach you, be that one that do something, do something different. Okay. And listen, I ain't trying to say this is this is how it's going to be forever. I'm just saying this is how it is right now with this economy. This is election year going on right now. People losing jobs. People getting evicted. People living out their cars. People is barely getting by to keep it real with you. All right. Keep this in mind, man. It's your big bro trend, man. I'm not ranting. I'm telling the truth, okay? And if you're a woman out there and you still don't see what I'm trying to, under to get you to understand, I'm just going to let you know, you are very delusional and you selfish, okay? So if any woman get in my comment section and she start talking crap about what I'm saying, you are delusional. You brainwashed and you programmed and you very selfish. You need help. You need therapy, okay? Because what I'm trying to create right now is 50-50. I'm trying to create balance. And this is what you need in order to have women, fellas. This is what you... Men do it all the time because we always provide. Remember, money is providing money. So men do it all the time. But I'm just saying, ladies, if y'all want to keep this relationship going, y'all want to keep things like it normally used to be, it's time for y'all to step up. Y'all got all the... Y'all got y'all... Y'all got all the smarts and intelligence, right? Okay, now it's time for y'all to step up and try to do something different. You feel me? That's what wives do to their husbands. They provide even though they aren't providers. Most, If you're a wife, you know what I'm talking about. You provide for your husband. When I was with my wife, my wife provided for me times when I couldn't afford it. Because she, she was the breadwinner. My ex-wife provided for me, bro. You feel me? So wives know how to do this, what I'm saying. But you girls out there who's single and who lonely, y'all need to step up. I'm sorry. I'm just keeping it real, ladies. Y'all need to step up and stop being some crybabies and, and complaining about how guys ain't this, how guys is turning gay now, how guys is feminine and soft. That's all lies and bullshit. The truth of the matter is you not 50-50 with him and you know it. And that's the reason why he don't want your ass. And I'm keeping it 100 like that. Be 50-50 and start giving, start bringing something to the damn cookout so that everybody can eat and we share this shit and everything will be all right. But you come to the cookout empty handed and you looking for some cake to eat. Of course, ain't nobody. Of course, everybody going to look at you like you stupid because you didn't bring shit. Come on, man. But anyway, I'm calm, y'all. I'm calm. I'm chilling. I'm just, I'm just getting it. I'm on my BS today. I'm on my bullshit today. I'm on my bullshit. I'm in my, I'm in my, I'm in my mood. Okay, it is what it is. But I'm, I'm still cool though. But I had to tell y'all like it is because some, for some strange reason, it seems like people don't be getting my messages when I say it nicely and stuff. So I'm sorry for the cuss words, but I had to say it. But anyway, man. It's your big bro trend. Comment below, fellas. Let me know what you think about this message. Hold some ladies out there. Comment below and let me know what y'all think about this message. Give it a thumbs up and please share this video so we can get this message out. So we can bring back dating and relationships because it is fun. It's fun to date. Single's cool too, but dating is it's fun too. So I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. Peace.